Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dylan. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you want to receive an email from me every single Monday of how to work on your mindset and how to get your intentions in place every single week going into the week and my intentions for the week every single week, go ahead and go to mindset email. I'm sorry, mondayemail.com right now. Once again, mondayemail.com right now. Go ahead and sign up. It's absolutely free and I'll start sending emails every single Monday on how to improve your mindset. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to create ultimate freedom in your life. We're gonna talk about how to break free from the rat race. We're gonna talk about how to break free from all of the mental stuff that's holding you back. How to break free from the system, how to break free from a normal life, how to break free from the rat race, and how to create the life that you actually want to live. One of the biggest tips that I'll give you before we dive in today is you gotta stop thinking the same way everybody else is. You gotta start thinking outside of the box and you've gotta start questioning everything. There was a point in time in my life, I was probably about 26, 27. I, I, had, a, I had a different life because I ran my own business from, I, I was an employee, then I ran my own business from 19 to 24, and then I went back to being an employee and working in the corporate world and doing corporate sales, and then I was like, this sucks, I gotta get out of here. So I went from being an employee to running my own business to being an employee to running my own business. And what that allowed me to do was to think outside of the box because what we're taught is that we need to go to school, we need to uh, get into college, we need to get a degree, we need to work for somebody else, we need to pay our bills, we need to buy a bunch of shit we don't want, we need to have some kids, we need to have a house, and then just die one day, right? But you gotta start thinking outside of the box and really start asking yourself like, is what I have, the life that I have, the things that I've bought, all of these things, is this what I actually truly want? And a lot of people I find, and I get a lot of messages that talk about it, want to get themselves out of the rat race. And as far as the rat race goes, just think about this for a second. Who came up with working Monday through Friday? Who came up with working nine to five? Where did that come from? Do you have any idea? Well, I'll give it to you. Henry Ford made it up in the early 1900s. It was just made up by a guy one day and the world just went with it. I don't know about you, I just don't wanna go with it. I wanna do something different. I wanna be in charge of when I do work, when I don't work, what it is that I do and don't do. And so for us just to live our life based off of one human over a hundred years ago just doesn't make any sense in my mind. But what happens, we just go for it. We just, eh, you know, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is the way it works. This is what I'm supposed to do throughout my life. But if you work for somebody, I wanna challenge you to do this take a random Tuesday off. Just take Tuesday off and just drive around. Go to a park, go to a couple you know, places that you normally frequent. And one thing that you're gonna realize is that there's people everywhere. Like there's people not working. And I remember before I left my last job, I was driving around, it was like Tuesday, and I had a, a dentist appointment. So I had a dentist appointment then I took the rest of the day off. Then I was getting some fillings. And I remember driving around, driving around and I went by this park in Austin called Zilker Park. It was like one, two o'clock and there's people everywhere. And I was thinking to myself, what the hell do these people do? How, how do they make money? And can I figure out a way to do whatever they're doing? Because I just wanted to be free from everything else that I was doing and being told what to do. Freedom is an interesting thing because people don't... People don't realize it, but what they really want is freedom, but most people don't prioritize their freedom. Most people don't prioritize their freedom. People will prioritize many other things. People will prioritize making money. People will prioritize work. People will prioritize their children, but people will not prioritize their own personal freedom. Do you wanna know a little secret though? You don't want to make money. If you wanna become rich, you don't wanna become rich. That's not your main goal. Sure, money can buy you cool things. Money's gonna buy you a house. Money's gonna buy you cars. Money's gonna buy you trips, all of those things. People think that they want money. And although you do want all of those things, you do want the car, you do want the house, you do want the trips, you want all those things. What you actually want is what the money gives you, which is freedom. If you're in the rat race, you want freedom from it. If you want money, you want freedom is what you want. You want the freedom. That's what we're all searching for. 
You know, if you want to be able to buy a trip to somewhere, what you want is the freedom to be able to make the choice to go somewhere. If you want to buy a couple cars, you don't want the couple cars. You do, but what you really want is the freedom to make the choices that you want to make and not be restricted by anything. Success means something to different to, different to everyone, but to me, and when I usually say this to people, they're usually like, oh yeah, me too. When I ask people what's success, a lot of different answers you'll get. But success to me is freedom, is the ability to do, success is the freedom to do what you want, when you want, with who you want. That's it. It's that simple. Success to me is the freedom to do what you want, when you want, with who you want. Sure, you want money. But what you actually want is the freedom to take a weekend trip with your friends and not have to worry about paying rent. That's what you actually truly want. Sure, you want to be able to buy that new watch, but what you want is the freedom to buy that watch and not have to worry about paying your mortgage. You want the freedom to go out and buy the, those pair of shoes and not have to look at the price tag or worry about it. Sure, you wanna make money, but what you actually want is the freedom of having to worry about money. That's what you want. Think about that for a second. You want to make money. Yeah, of course. Everybody wants to make money. And there's even people listening, and I've heard this many times, you're like, oh, I don't really care about money. Oh, yeah, if I came up to you and get, was like, hey, here's a million dollars, you'd be like, mm, ew, no. No, you'd take it. Everybody wants money in some sort of way. Some people have different varying, like some people want to be rich and all that stuff. Some people don't really care about it that much. But sure, everybody wants to make money in some sort of way or they understand that money would make their life at least a little bit easier. But what you, what you really want is the freedom of burden of worrying about money. That's what you really want. Do you want to know the secret about freedom though? Freedom, this is where it messes people up. So if you want to be free from the rat race, free to make the decisions that you want, free to travel, everything, freedom comes from discipline. Now that doesn't seem normal, but freedom comes from discipline. Most people think that freedom is the opposite of discipline. People think that discipline is restrictive, but the freedom is in the discipline and the structure. So the people that I know that have the most freedom, people that I know that have massive amounts of freedom to make any choice that they want to make, to do whatever it is that they want to do, what they've done is there has been some restriction and some discipline in their life. And they've buckled down for a few years, five years, 10 years, whatever it is, and they've buckled down. They left their corporate job, most of them, pretty actually all of them have, have left a corporate job. And they've made their own discipline. See, this is what's interesting. When you leave the rat race, one of the things that's a benefit of the rat race and working for someone else is that you have a structure you have to usually stick to. You know what time you have to be in the office. You know what time you're allowed to leave the office. And you have to do work in between those times. A lot of people, when they leave and they start their own business, there's so much freedom, they don't know what the hell to do with it. And a lot of people don't have successful businesses because they can't simply hold their feet to the fire. They need someone to tell them what to do. The discipline and the structure creates freedom down the line though. So if you run your own business and you have discipline and structure to work when you need to work to get things done when you need to get them done, that discipline and structure will create freedom later on down the road. Here's what's also interesting as well. There's two ways that the discipline and structure will create freedom later on, will create freedom in your life. Number one is later on in life. When you can buckle down and, and work on something and be dedicated to something for six months, a year, two years, three years, five years. I'm not talking about living your whole life or you know, the, even in those five years, your entire life being dedicated to something. But I'm talking about, can you just be dedicated to something when you decide to work? When you buckle down, you will have much more freedom later on down the road. So that's the first time that it's going to help later on down the road. But the second time it's going to help is discipline and structure create freedom in the moment. Most people don't take action because they're not sure the correct action to take. So they sit around and they overthink and they sit around and they overthink and then they never actually take any action. The people who schedule and plan their actions now have freedom to take action however they see fit in the moment. So even though there's a little bit of restriction of like from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m., I'm doing X, Y, Z, there's freedom to do whatever you want to do in that X, Y, Z, whatever that is. Some people that have so much freedom whenever they start a business, whenever they leave the rat race, that that freedom 
becomes paralyzing for them because they don't know what to do. And so when you can put in some structure, you can put in some discipline, it allows you to actually be more free in it. And let me explain this a little bit deeper. If you wake up and you have no schedule, there's freedom in that, sure. But that freedom can also stress a lot of people out because they feel like they should be doing more. They're searching for what to do in that time. They know that there's more for them. They don't know what to do though. But when you have structure and when you have discipline, there's freedom to do what you want to do in that structure. So for instance, let me give you an example, right? Like I know my schedule. If I know my schedule and I've created my schedule, I am free. So in this moment, I'm recording four podcast episodes in a row. That is some structure. That is some discipline. But in this moment, I can say whatever I want to. So there is freedom to talk about what I want, to do what I want. And so if somebody is going like, if someone's like, you know what? I want to be a songwriter. Okay, well, from this time to this time, I need to sit down and do songwriting. That seems like discipline. It seems like structure. But at the same time, there's freedom to do whatever type of songwriting I want to do in that moment. People underestimate what buckling down and locking down for time, just like locking down, working on yourself on a business, for instance. If you just lock down for a year and work on that business, what that will do for the future. People underestimate what disappearing will do. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you're under the age of 40, right? Disappear for a year. Go off the map. Now, let me give you a couple of examples because some of you guys have family, some of you guys don't. If you don't have a family and you want to leave the rat race and you want to build your own business, disappear for a year. 12 months, go off the map, tell everybody that you'll talk to them in a year. You know, don't just disappear completely. Like, I don't want you to think like you can never see your friends. You can still see them, but disappear 90% of the time from what you currently are. Find one thing that you want to do, like a business or a skill and work on that thing. Dedicate your life to that thing for 12 months. And when you pick your head up, you're going to see that you're light years ahead of every single person who's in that same industry and working on the same type of business or the same type of skill. If you have a family, disappear from everybody but them. I'm not saying like leave your kids and don't provide for, <laughs> provide for your family. That's not what I'm saying at all. Don't disappear from your family, but disappear from everybody else. Make a transition plan. Figure out what it would take to go from working your corporate job that you're not necessarily stoked about and don't want to spend the rest of your life there to doing that business that you want to do. And dedicate your non-work, non-family hours to creating that thing. Will you get less sleep? Maybe. Will you get less free time? Maybe. Will you have less social hours with your friends? Absolutely. But develop the skill, develop the business acumen, develop the education, the knowledge to make sure that you're working on that one thing. Learn from mentors. Hire people to help you. Have people teach you exactly what it is to do. The problem is that most people get stuck into their, their corporate jobs. They get stuck into the rat race and they realize that they have no freedom and they want to break free, but they don't know what the first step is. The first step is getting very intentional on what it is that you want to do. The second step is making a plan to disappear. If you don't have a family, disappear from all of your social spend, you know, if, if, if right now you're at hundred percent capacity of your social, go to 10%, hang out with your friends, go to some birthday parties, all that stuff, but really buckle down and focus on yourself and focus on the build business that you're trying to build. If you have a family disappear from everybody else, that's not your family. Go to work, do whatever it is you have to do when you work, come home, do whatever it is you have to do when you come home and spend a few hours a night every single night. Don't watch any Netflix. Don't get on Instagram. Don't do any of that stuff. Dedicating yourself to that business. And then on the weekends, find one day on the weekends, Saturday, every single Saturday for five, six hours, you're going to dedicate yourself to building that business and doing whatever it is you need to do. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. You just have to realize that you have to be the person to step up, to make a change and to do something about it. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be fucking hard. I'm going to be honest with you but it will 100% be worth it. If you don't make a change and you want, if you're in the position where you're still listening right now, you want to make some sort of a change, I'm assuming. If you don't make a change, you will hopefully still be alive in five years. In five years, you're going to be looking back going, shit, I still don't like this job. I'm still not fulfilled here. I wish I would have done that one thing. Or if you decide to make a change five years from today, you're going to look back and be like, oh my God, I'm so glad I made that decision. You are. 
hundred percent. I can tell you because I was working a corporate job seven years ago and I left that corporate job. Well, I guess for six and a half years ago now, I left that corporate job. I would have never expected that me leaving would have turned into what it's turned into now. I just wanted to be able to pay my bills and be able to do something I'm passionate about. I wanted to make, you know, 60 grand a year. That's what I wanted to do. I would have, if I'm being honest with you, I thought that it would be big, but six years down the road to have a business that's doing over $5 million a year is like, holy shit, that's amazing. But it was because I decided to dedicate myself to something that I actually loved. And so if you're out there, I'm telling you right now, it, it, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do whatever that thing is. You 100% can. It's not going to be easy. It will be hard. There will be challenges. There will be ups and downs. There will be times where you'll get really fearful about, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I promise you, if you continue to do what you, you're doing right now and it's not lighting you up, you will slowly and slowly and slowly start to feel like what you're doing is eating at your soul. If you make a change this year, next year, whatever it is, you will slowly start to feel like your soul is actually coming back alive. You get one life. You spend the majority of your waking hours working and making money in some sort of way. You might as well find something that you love doing and something that you're passionate about. If you don't love what you're doing, change it. If you're still listening to this podcast episode, you probably don't love what you're doing. It might not hate it. It might not be the worst thing in the world. It might not be soul sucking, but at some point you're like, that's, it's just not my passion. Okay. Find your passion, figure out what you need to do, start working on it, disappear for a little while. And when you come up and for air and you look around, you're going to realize that you're so much further ahead than everybody else. And there's no way that you'll fast forward five years or 10 years down the road and be like, damn it, I shouldn't have done that. If you don't do anything, you will fast forward 10 years down the road and think, damn it, I should have done that. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in at Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. You guys know we don't have anybody, any large corporation that backs this. We don't have any, you know, NPR or Vice or anything like that, any news group that we're a part of that pushes this out. We're competing with some of the biggest corporations in the entire world. And literally, I'm just recording this inside of our studio. There's nobody else that's out here doing it. So if you guys want to support us, please do me a favor and share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in it. Share it with a friend, Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And I'm going to leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission. Make someone else's day better. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have an amazing day.